so much so to the point where they got together with others to team up on you and basically start a smear campaign, right? You are public enemy number one. Somebody's so bothered by your authentic, your authentic light. Somebody's so bothered by the way that you carry yourself crow i speak the truth that they dedicated their existence to bringing you down or creating disruption in your life or singling you out and making you feel like you were the problem in reality their ego was the problem and the fish with the crow and the beaver somebody went to great lengths wow to spread false lies on your name. This could be somebody that is well respected, right? They have credibility to their truth. So this could have been an attempt to black egg reverse cheetah, yeah, pull a fast one on you with the fox too. It's like somebody went to great lengths to basically spread lies about you and, um, what's that called, deface or demonize, right, your name and your character because you show up as real, authentic, and speak the truth. That is a problem. That's a problem so much so somebody wanted to bring you down, right? They saw you rising to your success. They saw you stepping into your power. They wanted to pull you down to where they felt they were at. How sad. But look at you still rise and still step in greatness. You walk with the wisdom of an old soul. Wolf, some of you may walk alone. You don't even need other people to try to back you up. You don't even need to, you don't even need to try to clear your name. You're just aware of the games that have been being played with you, right? And your name. But you still stand in your greatness. You still stand in your truth. You are very resourceful, very spiritual, very deep, and very loving, very nurturing, very giving. You know how to turn nothing into something every single time. And so these people that ran a smear campaign, right, or this person, whoever was trying to basically tear you down just because they didn't get what they wanted from you, that person will have to face karma. What's this person's karma? Misunderstanding. Seek out information that will help you. Rat. Someone working against you behind your back. Fair woman. Wow. Their karma might look something like everything they threw at you, it's going to come back to them, right? That's called return to sender. Except you didn't have to do anything because you work for the most high. You stand and walk with the most high. God, the truth, the way, literally the truth and the way. You walk that path, that path of light, that path of love. So whoever tried to run a smear campaign on you, they are rats and everything they threw at you will be coming back to them. They're going to be betrayed by their enemies. They're going to feel misunderstood, right? Because they wanted to make you feel misunderstood. They wanted to make you feel crazy. Potentially a woman, right? Doesn't have to be a fair woman. It could be, it can be though, and it might be. But they're going to need answers. They're going to be seeking answers. They will not find those answers. I'm not worried about, no. Look, King of Swords, I speak the truth. What's coming towards you? Clarity. You're going to get clarity on this situation. You're going to see who's been watching you. You're going to become aware of who's been running this smear campaign on your name, right? They've been trying to block your blessings, literally. They've been trying to put death to your finances, your success. The Queen of Wands reverse. They don't want you to feel confident. They don't want you to feel happy, right? They don't want you to be in your power or your truth. That's exactly why you detaching from what they want, what they feel, what they're doing, Detaching from that is going to put you in your power. All, this is really just spirit waking you up. Waking you up to the abundance. The divine, the very, very divine inheritance that you are entitled to, right? You came here with a beautiful spirit because you walk with the most high and you always have and you stand in your truth and you will be seeing all of this soon. You are way too loving. 
to be dealing with these low vibrational energies. I tell you that right now. You're about to see everything clearly. And you're gonna see, you're gonna see the difference between a king or a queen versus a page. You're gonna see that soon. Because you're gonna see yourself, king, queen, take it as it resonates. And then you're gonna see the little fools who are watching you, gang stalking you, trying to run this smear campaign and de de defame, defame? What's that word? I cannot think of it. People that were trying to shit on your name, they're gonna see how, how wrong of a decision and choice that was. Because when you walk with love and compassion and empathy and you're attacked by people, your blessings are only going to be strengthened. Your clarity is only going to be strengthened, right? They're gonna be caught up in binds. They're gonna be stuck in the mud because everything they were throwing at you, it's coming right back to them. When you walk with the most high, that divine light that we all have within us, but some choose to not walk with it. When you walk with the most high, you might go through your hard times and your hard days, but you will always be, you will always have discernment, right? So I do see here that there was people here that were not on your team that were pretending to be on your team, right? Not in your corner, pretending to be in your corner. In reality, they wanted you to feel left out, singled out, left out in the cold. They wanted you to feel like you were worthless, like you were not in alignment with spirit. You're doing everything you're doing wrong. No, you saw the truth. You saw you saw shit for what it was. And you stopped giving your energy to these people. These people are going to have to face their own karma and it's going to have nothing to do with you. But it will be it will have to do everything about you. The reason they're receiving that karma is because they wanted to put it out first. They want look, getting themselves stuck in the four cups. Their love life might get blocked, messed up. Yeah, their commitments might end. Their smear campaign didn't work. You can't be played. You're continuing to move forward, move on. You are communicating clearly with everyone around you. What is this? The 10 of freaking pinnacles and the eight of wands. This is you moving towards success, regardless of what they said. The underdog, right? Because you were definitely counted out. Nobody was really believing in you because of this smear campaign. Literally, you, ha you might have been robbed of opportunities that you deserved or robbed of potential connections and relationships that you deserved. But because other people were speaking bad about your name, speaking lies, and other people believed them because of their credibility, you you were counted out. Everyone is about to see the underdog rise to the occasion. The smear campaign did not work. You are still going to get your Ten of Pentacles. You are communicating clearly. You're moving towards the direction of abundance and you will be embodying that. Do not let anybody speak on your name crazy because I promise you, if someone has their name, your name, if somebody else has your name in their mouth, need I say more? Need I say more? The Nine of Pentacles. I guess you really are just that special. You are that abundant. You are that beautiful. Need I say more? Why would someone... Look, the Wheel of Fortune, you is blessed because you're not stressed about nothing. You see the lies for what they are. You are healing and you are rising to the occasion. You will be in the spotlight, continuing to outgrow, continuing to be able to look forward, make new plans because you stayed resilient and you stayed grounded. Look at this. Look at this. You're going to be having so many new opportunities come towards you. And it's not because of people that were talking shit. It's because of who you are as a person. These opportunities are well earned, well deserved. Their smear campaign is going to make whoever's spreading that right about you, whoever's talking about you, trying to belittle your name and um, <clears throat> create this false narrative about you. They're <laughs> they're going to be looking very stupid when they see you in all of this success, and everyone around them, and everyone around you sees you in this success. It's not going to play out how they think it will. Eight of Pentacles, your hard work will pay off. You're gonna be in the you're gonna be in the spotlight rising to the occasion. And I feel like you're not even stressed. I feel like you're not even taking their page energy and or in doing anything with it. I feel like you're in alignment with your higher self so you know what is worth your time and energy and what is not. You is not playing them games. You is looking forward to the new Ace of Pentacles. 
last card, three of swords, reverse. All of this really was just, all they did was add fuel to your fire, add chaos to your magic. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. All they did was make you more powerful. I feel like you learned a lot through it. Now it's time for you to take action, not towards them, towards the things you want, towards the things you deserve. Do it because you are the emperor. You are the emperor. Walking away from this, these inconsistent people in relationships, three of pentacles reverse, ace of cups reverse, eight, eight of cups. These people didn't deserve to be in your presence at, to start off. They thought they did because they had more money, more status, more followers, more influence about the connections that were deep and personal in your life, right? They thought they could convince people to hate you. It made you love yourself that much more. They will be looking like the fool by the end of all of this because they're going to see how much people love you and how honest and how real you are. The integrity you carry, the authenticity, the way you take action and speak up for yourself and speak your truth, they're going to start to see through the reflection of stagnancy in their life. What they try to throw your way, it'll come back to them. And that doesn't mean you're gonna get blessed. You're gonna be blessed because you work hard. You know yourself. You will outgrind that old version of you. They will, they're focused on you. How are they gonna evolve anyway? They're focused on someone else's pockets, someone else's status, someone else's power. How are they going to grow if they're focused on you? My advice, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Forget about them. They don't have any place in your world, but you do got rats around you. Maybe you don't see it. Spirit sees everything, though. Be more aware than not, right? I'll see you guys soon. I got to take care of my people. That's why I'm giving this message out. I got to watch out for the ones... The ones that walk with love. Show me, angel. Show me, angel. What do you want to say? What do the angels have? Abundance. That is who you are. That is what you've always been. The underdog is finna get the win. Success on the bottom and abundance. I don't make it up. I wouldn't lie to you. I see. I'm seeing this. Look, you're ready. If you believe. Trust in reverse. Somebody is trying to make you seem like you are untrustworthy. You're not authentic. They're trying to make people reconsider you, your energy, your services, whatever. You have no need to worry. You are so, <laughs> you are exactly where you're supposed to be. You are exactly who you are meant to be. Do not pay any mind to the low vibrational slimes that lurk in the shadows. Ask your angels. Stay connected to your angels. You will be blessed. I promise. Thank you. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. Bye.